Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to review the latest update of Evolution X. Um, many, first of all, many thanks to Hani for building the uh, ROM for our device. Um, our friend Hani did a great job in optimizing the ROM for us. It is actually giving us a very smooth experience. So let us begin the ROM review. Now Evolution X has actually adopted and rebased their sources but still they have not actually adopted the quick settings clock for the latest um, release of Android 13. So you can expect to have the default clock and the default user interface style. Now coming to the launcher, the launcher is something that we are actually familiar with the um, with the other ROMs such as CR, Droid and all. So the launcher itself is actually having quite a lot of customization. Therefore it is not actually using the default Google launcher um, for, for the in the ROM. So you, the ROM comes with the default Google applications so you can expect to have all the Google goodies with the ROM. Uh, the Chrome comes pre-installed with the application. Now recently we have an issue with the safety net being failing for the custom ROM. Now that has been fixed for the uh, Evolution X. Um, so basically the device is actually certified without flashing the magisk. Now let us go to the settings. As in the settings you can expect to have the default user interface and uh, no new options have been added to the uh, settings. So let us go to the about phone and review the um, phone information. Android version is 13. As you can see the, the Android security update is of 5th of February 2023. And the kernel I am using in this particular ROM is 4.19.152 Stormbreaker the release 1. Um, the default kernel is Pyro kernel that comes with the ROM. But I have actually changed the kernel to 4.19.152 Stormbreaker. Are there any specific reasons? No, I just want to see if this particular kernel boots with the ROM. So that is the reason why I am actually using the kernel. So coming back to the settings page and going to the Evolver, you can see that a um, couple of things that had been added like theme settings, you can choose to have custom background colors and stuff like that. Then dark theme also, you will get a few options for the a dark theme like black, clear, vivid or paint in the snow then espresso. So you can use choose to have different sort of backgrounds for the black theming. Also there are a couple of cool choices for the clock screen font which you can choose. Then uh, if you want to choose the clock screen color you can also choose to have clock screen custom uh, colors that you can choose to have different sort of um, hex code for it. Then coming to the headline or body font, you will have a couple of choices for the headline or body fonts. Then icon packs, you also get uh, these sort of icons for your icon pack and uh, Wi-Fi icon style. You can choose to have different sort of Wi-Fi wi icon styles for your status bar. Well, all the other options that you are actually familiar with the ROM and uh, there had been or there isn't any uh, new additional customization option that is being added on to the rom well even if there uh, even if there is no addition of new customization to the rom still the rom feels very smooth and i do really appreciate the maintainer of the rom for making the rom very smooth for our device so that is my review about the rom so what are my final verdicts well my final verdict is if you want to use a rom that has been play store certified recently um, without using the magisk since Google has actually messed up the Play Store certification. So you can choose to have the uh, the Evolution X ROM um, which is really a great ROM and you can also choose to uh, use your own custom kernel according to your preference because many um, many custom ROMs for Poco M3 or Redmi 90 didn't actually support uh, use of uh, these kernels. So basically if you want to use a ROM Definitely you can try to have um, try to use this particular um, particular ROM. Once again many thanks to Hani for building the ROM for our device and also to you for watching my ROM review video. Thank you.